as facts that I live, the very moment, and I sense you. Of course, I insist on the very best food, and it must be a very good plan, which is next door. You bet your son, you guys, she's came out to heaven. And if she's treated and handled with love and care, a cow will respond by cooperating easily. One important aspect of producing a biogas. That biogas contains 70% methane gas. Since this is a closed system, none of this gas can escape into the air. It is all collected and plastic. We go through a similar process with haylage, but that's packed in long bags, as the alfalfa is cut and delivered here throughout the summer. The hay you see baled and stacked is brought in from local farmers and some from as far as the western states like Colorado. These bays we're driving by are the different commodities that go into the feed. The closer to the front of the barn, we have what are known as the close-up cows. That means these cows are closer to having their calves. In the close-up area, the cows are watched by professionally trained maternity technicians who know when a cow is getting ready to calf. And when they see the first signs, they move the cow up to the birthing area. The maternity technician checks the close-up cows every hour. Now, on your right, you'll see the birthing area. The birthing area is where the cows actually have their calves. Cows of mixed ration that contains grain, fiber, and mineral mix. On both sides of the road are calf hutches. Bull calves are sold, but all the calves that are heifers, which means they're female, become milking cows. Shortly after they're eating more than 8 pounds of grain ration, the heifers will be moved to a heifer raising farm until they are ready to rejoin the herd as milking cows. Because the calves have a range of temperature than humans can, in fact they are comfortable between 10 and 70 degrees Fahrenheit. But once you get to 70 degrees and warmer, the cow starts to get uncomfortable. Cows don't sweat very much, so cows have to get rid of their extra body heat by evaporation, radiation from their skin, or increased respiration. We can help the cows stay cool and comfortable by trenching them with water to get rid of the heat. The white plastic pipes that run along near the aisle supply water to the soaker nozzles that spray the cows. The cold water evaporates off their head and back to take away some of the heat from their bodies. A cow's normal temperature is 101.5 degrees Fahrenheit. So with a nice cold soaker and lots of fans overhead, it's cool and breezy in the barns, and the cows like that. In fact, we maintain a 7 mile per hour breeze over the feed manger and the beds. The cows are brought up with their pen mates from the free stall barn to the milking parlor. Sometimes about 5 minutes, but there are several steps taken before a milking unit is attached. There are different technicians working with cows in different positions around the rotary. Because you cannot see them from here, the monitor show you the various steps that are done to harvest milk on a rotary party. Every step of the milking process involves quality and cleanliness. The first step in properly milking a cow is to disinfect the teats and prime the cow. Immediately after entering the rotary, the teat area on the udder on each cow is sprayed with a disinfectant solution and two squirts.
Fish makes some feel good after the hot soup. <laughs> <laughs> 